This sounds like a plot from a science fiction novel, but a biotechnology company based in Utah, called BlackRock Neurotech, has indeed implanted brain chips into dozens of patients. The company, headquartered in Salt Lake City, has been dedicated to using human-machine interfaces to cure paralysis, blindness, deafness, and other disabilities. Their chip, called the Neuroport Array, allows disabled people to control mechanical arms and wheelchairs, play video games, and even feel sensations in paralyzed limbs. The chip works by using nearly 100 microneedles connected to the brain to read electrical signals produced by a person's thoughts. So far, the chip has been implanted in 50 people since its first implantation in 2004. Many of us know that Elon Musk is also developing a neural implant chip with Neuralink. Last year, Musk applied to test Neuralink in human trials, but the Food and Drug Administration FDA, responded with dozens of safety concerns that needed to be addressed, thus rejecting the company's application. Marcus Gerhardt, co-founder of BlackRock Neurotech said, we are the only company that directly implants brain chips in humans. Our implantable array allows people to connect directly to computers, control mechanical arms and wheelchairs, play video games, and even regain sensation all with their brain signals. The chip can be placed anywhere on the surface of the brain, and multiple devices can be implanted on the same person's brain. After implantation, the chip detects electrical signals produced by the wearer's thoughts. Machine learning software decodes these signals into digital commands, such as moving a cursor, that can be used to control prosthetics and computer devices. This chip can help people use mechanical arms to paint, use computer programs, or control wheelchairs or prosthetics. The company is now applying for FDA approval to use it outside of the laboratory, making it available for paralyzed individuals to use at home. Currently, the company is developing a brain-machine interface to help restore hearing and vision. The chip has been implanted in some patients for many years without any reports of serious adverse reactions. However, there are some defects. The array on the implant gradually degrades over time, causing a decline in signal quality after about two years. It usually needs to be removed and replaced after about five years, requiring surgery again to remove and replace it. A disabled patient named Nathan Copeland has had the Brain Machine interface for eight years and uses it to create art and play video games with a mechanical arm. He can also feed himself. His artwork is currently on display at the American Association for the Advancement of Science AAAS, Human Machine Interface Exhibition in Washington. Another disabled patient, James Johnson, used to work for a company doing photo editing before he became paralyzed. Now his brain-machine interface allows him to work again, continuing to use Photoshop, and some of his pictures are also on display at the AAAS Human-Machine Interface Exhibition.